Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Zian campaign. This is episode 29. We pick it up from turn 143 in the winter season of 218. So, uh, our last episode we captured Cao Cao's emperor seat. And we had a couple marriages, Sun Quan and Sun Ren both got hitched. And then after that, Lu Zhi died right on cue as Sun Ren got married. Uh, I was hoping to do it in the other order where Lu Zhi dies and then we marry uh, Sun Ren to Guo Jia if they get along. But it's been so long that I put her in with Sima Yi and turns out they love each other. So good for them. Um, and she also doesn't get along with uh, both uh, uh, Huang Fu Wei and um, so it's okay uh, we are gonna get rid of some of these units hold on we're gonna do we can't do a swap with her for cavalry until she's level five so I guess this will have to stay put plus their job is really just to hold down Gong Sun Zan for now as we go to his capital and to get there we're gonna have some sort of naval attempt that's the idea that I have in mind. Some sort of naval attempt to just strike at their capital. Uh, they're so far away right now that I don't know exactly what the conditions are over there. But uh, we can start headed that way. Okay, Yuan Shao's army is retreating back. We'll ambush in place on our side. Huang <laughs> Zhu join Liu Chong's uh, faction. Um, over here, although I really want to finish them off, this army kind of worries me. Um, so we might actually just retreat back. Currently they're on march. There's a good chance he has reach. No, there's not a good chance. I know for a fact he doesn't have reach. So if that's the case, he can't reach here. That gives us time, actually. Then we might actually do this. This way we can finish off Liu Chong's faction. It's okay, we get a very nice heal rate, so we'll be back and ready to fight once we run back over there. Alright, nice level up here. Shi Chou, Gunning Step Sun. Actually. He doesn't have cavalry on him because he's not level 5. They did the swap. So we're actually going to give his units uh, armor piercing and then give himself 40% attack speed. We got a new horse, a red stallion. We'll give you a treat. Give you a treat. There we go. Alright, so I think this wipes off his faction, assuming he doesn't have a stray army somewhere, which I don't think he does. Uh, we can also have them run up to rescue, because I feel like He is going to be friendly, uh, so I don't need to really mess with him. We can start running next turn, there's no rush. Alright, there's a fun fight here that we can't reach. Oh, awkward. Must be a winter thing. Alright, but we can ambush. So 26% is definitely guaranteed. Sometimes it shows 25, but it rounds up. So you actually don't have enough to ambush, which is really bad. So now they went into the water again. Which means I want to do this again. Ambush. We actually have 99 counties. I checked before starting to uh, record this episode, so we have enough. We just need the Emperor C for the win. Um, I think this army should go instead of this army in terms for the final victory. Uh, Sima Yi can stay around to punish Cao Cao a bit more. Zhou Yu can go finish uh, the mission for Wu. He is our son-in-law. Actually, both of them are son-in-law. Right, both of them are son-in-law. Shouldn't shouldn't discriminate between the two, uh, but Joey also has reach and he doesn't yet, and probably won't for a long time. Uh, so more reasons to have him go. Mm. All right, we're gonna first walk out of this territory. We'll just walk because we need to heal. 
Alright, their armies are still jokes. We're gonna start backing out here because we have enemies around us. And we need to go clean them up so they don't interfere with us. This is free take. And then they'll just continue up the coastline, destroying Wang Long in the process. Um, this army is still just stranded here. They know they're not strong enough to take it, so they're just standing here, encamping so they don't lose military supply. Um, that one army is enough to hold them down. Time to wipe out Han Xin's faction. It's winter, so we can't reach. Uh, it's really lame. We are healed, so we could just we just walk as close as we want. And over here, oh, it's it's fair. We can't reach anyways. But we're also fully healed, so just keep moving. Uh, it is level. Oh, level. We want this to be level three, so we get good horse entrepreneur. We can need a level four marketplace. Hmm. I know exactly the commandery for that. We rushed it for nothing. Hmm. Okay, this is settled. We just need movement. This is settled. There's a fight here waiting to happen. But I think we can actually... I guess we don't want to delegate the fight. Although she definitely doesn't have reach. But we probably still don't want to delegate against this large regional city with a military infrastructure. As a matter of fact, we probably want to siege. Or we want to actually wait till they come out. We're going to team up on them or something. Because it's kind of a headache to deal with. Alright, south is good. Good, good. Alright, now we can just spend money on diplomatic things. <laughs> this was where we ran out of money, but we didn't run out of moves. So we can do this. We can run this trick again, just to test it out. So we captured one, like, so we cycle Zhou Tai. We recall her. Zhou Tai gets full movement. Wow, this is ridiculous. And then there's one more here, so we can do the same trick if we want. We just have, you know, a bunch of generals sitting here. We have big, high numbers of seasonal um, deployment spot because we actually build a few of those. Oh, no, no. Well, popping him out also works, but I didn't want to do that. They really need to fix this bug because this is ridiculous. This exploit is kind of insane. Ah, but we can't recruit in non-allied territory. They got me here. All right, but essentially this is kind of like the momentum mechanic for Lü Bu uh, in the A World Betrayed where you can bounce around after battle. A similar idea. Uh, we want to upgrade the spice market. Uh, we'll rush this, start this up. Uh, we want to get more income with the boosts from assignments. We'll do that later. 17k. I think the rest is all building. What are they doing? Rebel around? No. They landed on this side. Well, you're moving around is going to cause you to lose supply. Alright. Let's take care of things here. Which one are we missing? We can kind of tell. Tang Wu, Jian. Okay. Jincheng, Yulin, Hanzhong, Changsha, Wuling, Peasantry. There you go. Someone happy to do it. Alright, Harbor, level 5. We do have... So usually when we get here... We probably want the spice version, which we don't have unlocked yet. Uh, this, wait. Yeah, this version. Oh, we have it unlocked. Just usually we want this version. We haven't unlocked the normal one. Um, 
But here, because Sun Jian's faction has faction-wide commerce, it's better than faction-wide spice. Just because commerce is in every commandery. So you always kind of want to go here for Sun Jian, but only him. Um, we need one more building here that we can start downgrading Jincheng. And we can get rid of this building. We captured a tall commandery, basically, and we're working our way down. Uh, over here is a little different because we actually have other buildings we want to build. Hmm. This is actually somewhere in the future if we have time, go tall and then go back down. Just to help boost silk. Hmm. Royale's interesting build path. We could just go simple here. Ignore the fact that we have a trade port. Because we're never going to have administrator here. But I guess we can still go for income. It doesn't really stop us from going for income. I mean, it is the capital city of Luoyang. We should probably just make it impressive. All right, corruption reduction. This can downgrade actually. Oh, but we can also build when downgrading. That's right, what am I doing? Uh, let's get corruption reduction going. Our faction corruption or uh, our faction wide corruption reduction is doing great because we've been picking up more copper mines and we've been picking up more reforms related to it. So that's why we have so much income. All right, double check just to be safe. Nothing's changed. We're still on our path to this is total ward, and I think we can go to next turn. Let's go. All right, our ambush worked over here against Yuan Shao's army. They did get tempted and try to go into Luoyang. Uh, even though it's going to be a tough victory, we're going to take it uh, instead of fighting it because obviously ambush fight with the range units suicidal, and we're also on our own land. Even though it's not showing such, we'll go back. We'll go back to where our ambush spot was, so we'll be healed, hopefully, and uh, which I think is how it works. So let's delegate. I don't think I ambushed on the other side. I'm pretty sure I ambushed right here. We'll see. We'll find out at the beginning of next turn. Oh, Yuan Yingning. Daughter. Disloyal daughter. We'll leave her alive for you. Just in case we are not on the right side, we'll get some replenishment. And Sun Ce's trap also worked. Uh, Cao Ang's army fell into it. Uh, we'll try to change the odds a little bit in our favor. Same idea, uh, except for we're not in our own territory for sure. So this is just fingers crossed here. Hopefully we don't lose too many men. 800? 500? Okay. That's not that many, actually. With some replenishment, we'll be fine. Oh, we got a weapon. Nei, Rei, Yue. Um, I guess we just recruit her away just to weaken them. Cao Cao's friend? Okay. Uh, we're we're so old. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know if we want to kill him for this. It's not a good item. His retinue is nothing impressive. Yeah, we'll just release him for money. We'll get replenishment. Tell us other armies on us. Hmm. With the garrison, we can retreat once. Let them chase. So at least we get rid of the garrison. All right, she chased. Now we have to fight, but the army is much smaller. The garrison's gone. We have tribuches. General's general's health is a bit low, but we could maybe do a sacrifice heal. I I believe there's a relationship here. Yep, yeah, friend. Fallen friend. If if someone dies, we heal Nike and get berserk and extra damage. 
So whoever dies, it would work. We can even sacrifice our wife because she has level four, so there's resiliency. Let's go. All right, bright and snowy day. Great for slowing down their advance towards us. They are on the high ground though. Not a big deal. We can overcome that. Um, we are gonna give ourselves plenty of distance for various reasons. All right, we really don't have much of a front line. Oh, actually. That works. And then these are on the side. Maybe we'll sacrifice you to heal Sun Tzu. I mean, vice versa. I mean, we can even sacrifice her. We can sacrifice him first and then her. Deployables, that's right. Tower. It seems like the AI really likes to flank tribuches from behind. So I'm just gonna put one there. They want a duel. She would be the easier target. The three of them will go together. We'll let, we'll let both of the boys duel, and then during the duel, whoever dies first will heal the other, and she'll debuff, and she can actually die in the crowd and heal both. Yeah, bo both boys. Oh, no, no, no. She's just... Oh, no. Both are... They're all friends. So there, there will be a Nike heal and a small boost for death of friend. We'll give Sun Tzu the easier duel with the commander. Give him the harder duel with the sentinel. Right, they'll fire soon. It's on the high ground, so the range is actually wrong. We actually can't hit as far. Uh, but see, you can see it doesn't auto fire until like a bit later. Any time now, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna hit fire if they don't fire anymore. Huh, maybe they just can't see them. I really need you guys to auto fire. It's not an ambush battle. Alright, we're gonna. Mm, we're gonna suicide her, actually. For the sake of these boys. Hang on, boys. She's about to die. Hang on, don't die yet. Don't die yet. Don't die yet. Come on. Get us killed. Get us killed. She's killing them? Oh, are they burning the fire? That might kill the... Oh, it might not, we might not need you to die. We, he might die. He's winning straight up with less health. Alright, wife, wife, stay with us. Don't die yet. Alright, he died. He healed. She healed. She went berserk though. She's. Yeah, she's close to that fire. Alright, can we not berserk into. Alright, nice. Kill that. Get on your horse. Yeah, I'll take you on. Alright, I'm ignoring. The situation over here. They are trying to do that reverse flank. Look at that. Slap the ground. Uh, 44 seconds. Okay, we got time. I think Sun Tzu can just win this himself, but we always have the debuff in 37 seconds. Alright, boys. Go defend our back line. Alright, 
20 seconds. Alright, the cavalry haven't really made any dumb moves yet. Oh, we need to kill these off. If they run here, we'll let them run here. If they charge at us, we counter charge them. Do they turn? They, they turn. Alright, now we go. Actually, we let them go there. We kill the, the elite unit. Oh, we need help. Come on, you can do it. I know she has tenacity of steel going. But we kill. Nice. Sunsa, nice. Get on your horse. Ride out with your wife. Wedge. Protector of heaven from behind. With our ridiculous charge damage. Break wedge. Alright. Go after that. Go after this. Three. Reset, reset, reset. Alright. Husband and wife. Go kill her. Set up. Wedge. Saber Militia. Alright, impact done. Just clean up. Where's wife? Alright, let's kill the strategist. Cavalry. Flank. Ah, we won. Alright, it costed one of our general his life, but not so bad. Alrighty, we survived. Let's hope we can get some replenishment off of this. Now we capture the sentinel who killed our friend, or injured our friend. She also got scarred. I mean, I'm not interested in the retinue, not interested in the... She's, uh, yeah, she's kind of high level. Alrighty, Zhang Chao is suiciding, so we're going to let him do that. Alrighty. He Yi declares war on Cao Cao. Okay. Zhang Chao is gone, got another armor. I think we officially control all the armor and uh, armor smith, weapon smith, all the horse pasture, or not all the horse pasture, but all the animal tamer. So all the five uh, counties that create items for you, we control them. Why didn't you guys declare war a turn earlier and stop this army? Now we have to run back. So this is where Cao Cao's main territory was. This whole region here, we kind of hit into it. Which is actually kind of weird because we're kind of bulging into his territory, which makes it super hard to defend. Uh, he only had another piece in the south. He only made a little bit of inroad, but he put his capital here instead of like here. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Liu Bei has a giant piece here. Who knows? Um, I don't think this is defensible. Nor do we really need another farmland. So I think we're going to let him take this and then we can go grab him next turn with a full army. Or maybe two full armies. Oh, this will take a while. Alright, maybe maybe it'll take longer than the number of turn we thought. But we have him encircled. We beat them in ambush. Yeah, lots of activities north of the Yellow River here around Royal now. Night battle, finally. Alright, no weapon for you. We could just team up on him and wipe his faction off the map. Large regional city. Alright, we're gonna let them siege. Alright, 
we're gonna run the reinforcement. <laughs> the two, the two hail of arrow generals. What do you know? They meet. They meet again. Wow! Even this is Valen defeat. Tough customer here. We could obviously fight this. I just don't think it's worth the time. Huangzu, he got a gold armor? How? How did Huangzu ever get a gold armor? They never owned a weaponsmith. Hmm. We can. All right, let's fight this. It's it's a challenging fight, a little bit. I don't know how challenging it will end up being. We do have a lot of advantages here. All right, let's go. All right, we can't control where our reinforcement comes, and that's actually going to be very helpful for us because, uh, for example, we can control where they deployed their setup tribuchet. They don't have two siege weapons on the walls in one of these uh, bastions that are on, uh, indestructible. So we could trick them, which is basically what we're going to try to do. Since we know our reinforcement is going to be here, we can low heavy load this side and take an approach where we, let's say, attack this corner. Now, this corner might not be that easy to attack because the way the towers are stacked uh, pretty much means we have to wipe out one, two, three. Oh, that's it. Right, we just have to wipe out these three. And then we can just enter from here and go for the interior. So to do that, what we do is just shift our two tribuches into this hidden position here and go walk together with them over there once the reinforcement comes. And then we're going to lay most of our armed forces that are not useful to the siege, aka these guys over here, as distraction and hide everyone else. So make sure they're hidden. These guys are useful. Ganning is super useful. She is useful for reducing cooldowns. He is not that useful. So, distraction army. Opposite side. Far away but visible. This way they'll put all their siege weapons there. Make sure they're invisible. And hit button. See? And uh, we just run all the way to the edge to make sure we don't get shot by anything. And these things can't shift directions. So we just have to... Because we have to move these tribuches up anyways. Surprise! And they have to redistribute their defenses inside. Now we're going to wait till the last group. Fugan? 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 Okay. Where are your units, Fugan? Team 1. Turn off auto fire. Check their max range. Line up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cut till we're all set up then. See you guys then. Alright guys, we're back. Our tribuches are in position. The enemy kind of shifted their defense. We laid out our unit here. And we're going to get things started by lighting up some towers. Twenty-seven, fifty-five. Stop. Seventy-five. Stop. Stop. Uh, we didn't stop those two, but okay. Half of ammo wasted. Only thirteen. All right, let's give this one good volley. Oh, this one's... Alright, here comes the big volley. Okay, that crushed it. I'm gonna just wipe this out anyways, in case the side scratches some of our units. We might just destroy that one too. We have shots. They also have a freestanding tribuchet here, which could be trouble. We just gotta watch that. 
41 percent wait did we destroy it or did we not we didn't we just took the roof off or something We need another volley, that's fine. These things are higher level, it's a large regional city. So it's understandable, it's harder to kill. Right. Yeah, there's a top layer and there's a bottom layer. I think it's over 50 now. What the f That's so strange. It's like two different damage layers. This one's burning, clearly. So we'll, we'll just let that burn out by itself. Alright, so now we killed those. This is kind of my next key target. We're going to move up a little bit and straighten us out. They can't hit us. Okay. And we have two approaches here. Obviously, we should probably use our ammo to wipe out some of these uh, abusive range units here. Especially all these crossbow units. Um, we'll let them straighten themselves out first. Alright, they burned themselves out, right? Yeah, top and bottom lane. No, the bottom lane didn't burn out. Well, but... Huh. Indestructible fort tower. Why? I don't understand. But it doesn't fire anymore, right? There's no fire range indicator. Wait, are they hitting our tribuchets? They are. Alright, let's see who hits harder. Guess we barely walked into their range. Yeah? Good luck, guys. Actually, we have generals. We have generals with a cooldown reductor. Oh, no, no, no. You stay behind. You come with us. Five. I'm actually just not going to use it efficiently. I'm going to let them line up and shoot all they want. And we're going to also shoot all we want. Might as well have some fun with these two boys. Not every day you get two of these. And a cooldown reducing general. Fire. Fire. Maybe don't stack so close in case you hit each other. Yeah, we'll let them use up all their shots. It's fine. All right, he's good to go again. We can't walk up closer. All right, Tribuchet is almost done shooting. So whenever he's not moving, not engaging melee, not moving. Quick fire is building up. Interesting. Let's see how many units they send to their death here. This one's not done. Why are you not firing anything? Fire? There's no targets? Are you kidding me? There's so many targets. Look at this group right here. Alright, back to the show. 
uh, generals here. We're not dueling. We're gonna we're gonna blast him with the shotgun. Did we light that area on fire yet? Come on. We can also try Venom Shot. Haven't tried it yet. Alright, we hit him. Let's see his health. 30 seconds. They don't drop. Well, his health is not dropping. 28k. Oh, uh, only 450 damage. This is a debuff. This is much better. Look, shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Kill him. Uh, protect the wife. Roar. Pull her out a little. Alright, we survived that. They also lost a general. We could hurry it up and just keep going inside. Let's try to kill everything with this. This roaming squad here. Of Hail of Arrow. It's nerfed in uh, a world betrayed, so might as well use it now. Alright, we don't want people to be right up to us, so make- Oh, oh. We don't want to miss Micro and ruin all the fun. Might be slowing down our win here. Let's at the same time send a group to absorb some archers from the actual group. See, he has to try to find that group right there behind, even though there's a giant clump here. There we go. Literally like every 10 seconds. Why are we surrounded? Roar. They had enough of us. Well, we haven't had enough of you. This is a mini game. The real siege is still going. This one, I have a feeling, is going to do a lot. Oh, someone's here to take another sh headshot here. Probably Gunning is going to get the headshot. Okay, his cooldown is ready up. Take this out. Big mistake. Are archers in range? Not yet, not yet. Alright, come up to us, come up to us. Rallied, rallied, come up. Get closer. 
Actually, maybe Taishu still has a shot. Let's debuff her first. Not debuffed. Let's go. Alright, pull Taishu out. Roar. Alright, they're still shooting at us, good. Ah, they have a lot of ammo. Who's next? Look at the pile of different type of bodies. Oh, shield wall. Very tight shield wall. They actually blocked most of the shot. Oh, they turn around. Big mistake. Big mistake. Oh, she bounced back. Right, finish shooting us. They actually are murdering us. Wow, super impressed, super impressed. Hold on. Ooh. Alright. I think most of the arrows are exhausted. Oh, still some left. Let's move up a little bit more. Fire will. Let's go. Let's finish this. Ah, most of the damage from the Tribuchet. That makes sense. I forgot about that unit. Nope. Don't want to use that. Oh, here comes our cavalry. Poor guy. Watch this. He's like, it's my turn to defend this gap. He's taking so much charge damage. Look at the charge damage running him down. Alright, we just go down this way. It's a nice hallway for us to go down this way into the center. Let's right, not waste time on them. Watch their health. Run them down. They're trying to escape. They actually blocked that barricade over there. They might actually route before we get done. I 
Uh, they might be done before we even get there. Three. Go, 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 go. Alright, that unit disappeared. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. It took a long time. But it was kind of fun. Alrighty. We killed 548 with Gan Ning and 583 with uh, Tai Shi 125 heroism. Gong Sun Gong. Gong Sun Gong. Um, we don't like him. Large reach. Oh, we'll just occupy. No Trolls old faction is gone. Alright, this is always, obviously built terribly. Uh, this will give us the entrepreneur that we need. But then this will take it away. And we actually want this for silk. Um, which is fine. This is gone. This will keep. This we will not keep because we want corruption reduction. And we want silk boost. So this is just giving us 40% silk, pretty much. And what we want here is actually state workshop with corruption reduction. But let's get rid of this building first. And obviously downgrade. I like these two armies. I feel like they should be the ones sailing to Yobei Ping. But we're not there yet. We can't set sail yet. We haven't cleaned up the mess that we created. But this is also a good first step. Copper mine. Big garrison. Smart, you clean up crew. They can't actually do anything. Alright. Yeah, we'll just clean up the coast to make sure Wama doesn't do anything. Um, we left this here, which is a little bit of a problem. Oh, we found him. We found our man. He summoned him after um, we wiped out the other army. Night battle? We have it ready. Good. Uh, increased chance to capture. We are really exhausted, this army. Even the, the tribuches is weak. But this is our chance because their garrison is also fresh. Okay, but the army is not fresh. Cao Cao is fresh. Our cavalry have to kill him. Oh, all those good items. We have night battle, so we can exclude Cao Ang. Can't help your dad get out of trouble this time. Alright, they still think we'll lose, which I understand. There's a lot of units here. Fishing port. Although fishing port's good, because it's a, a tower, so they have to come out of a certain place, or they can sit inside. We can get some free shots. Alright, let's fight Cao Cao here. Alrighty, uh, loaded up in here against Cao Cao's forces. It's rainy, so that's not great. This is the best place, um, just because we can control how they come out. He lost resiliency, so he will die this time if we let him die. But he's full health as well, so that's the pro here. I'm assuming they might charge out, but even then I kind of want to put it pretty close to the front. Oh, actually, bad idea then. Alright, hidden. Alright, 
Alright. This might be useful. Uh, let's protect this flank. Let's go. Oh, they don't see us. Oh, they don't see us because we're kind of far. Okay. If that's the case, we just move everything up. There we go. And wait till they get closer before we start firing or knock out the towers. They still don't see us. They see them. They see these units. Right, if that's the case, we knock down the towers. Okay. There's not they're still not moving. Okay, then in that case, we move all the way over here. Arrow tower. Hold on. Moving too fast here. Okay, this is so strange. I mean, I understand they want to defend this plaza, but given the situation, shouldn't this strategy change? Oh, they put these up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it is changing, it is changing. Stop moving, stop moving. We have shots, we have shots on the corridor. Fire! Nowhere to run. Archers take care of these. These are just spear warriors, actually. They're the garrison units. Is the travel time this long that they can dodge like that? Wow. Okay. How about here? I mean, they shouldn't be able to dodge before we fire. That makes no sense. But that seems to be what they're doing. If it's because they see the fireball, I understand. And you disperse. Yeah, can't disperse fast enough, can you? Hold on. Faster. Alright, not worth it. Uh, but they fired. Missed time the distance. Sure. 
All right, we gotta knock this out. I think if we can just start a fire on the house, this will burn down. How about the house? Guess it's too hard to start fire in the rain. We'll give it another shot. We have archers? Alright, we might have started some fire in the house. Nope. Oh, uh, the rain is too strong. Oh, but this one's burning. Good. Let's try again. 1%. 9%. Okay, so we did burn off that district. We might might not need this shot, but we already fired, so it's fine. Our archers are running out of shots. Alright. This should be a good one. Well, once the archers are out... We'll kill spears this way. Cao Cao's shooting. We might be able to hit him. If we aim carefully enough. Alright, we're going to use these guys with high melee evasion to stall them for a little bit. Cao Cao, keep shooting. Don't move. Don't move. Alright, keep hitting here. Before he runs out of ammo. We have... Two more volleys. Oh! But didn't actually do damage. He's still at 19k. That was a direct hit. Alright, we can stop hitting that spot now. Let's kill this last cavalry. Charge. I know it's going to suck, so we're going to use him to bump all these. It's not going to hurt the general that much, but it will pretty much kill a, a cavalry unit by themselves. Alright, pick off the weak one. Alright, try your best, try your best. Can we destroy a few more of these before? Those guys are dead, it's fine. Or are they? Or are they? Alright, you can help too. Even you can help, it's fine. Go help. But oh, they're doing great. This one's so charging through here. Alright. We can debuff, debuff the units. Oh, 
实至一致，尽情厮杀。Okay, don't die, don't die. It's a real possibility. Sun Tzu, there we go. Sun Tzu kills Cao Cao. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's crush this. We don't even use our cavalry. Charge the invincible turtle turtle attack. These can just sit in the back. Generals go. We just need to rush them, and then it's a win. We don't actually need to do anything. Win? Are oh, they rally back? Where's our axe units? There's literally one and two, three axe units. Oh, but we lit it on fire. Have they lit it on fire? That's over. Oh come on! Have recovered our. There we go. All right, we took this uh, county, but then Talon's army is really close, so it could be trouble. We might need to recruit an army to help them out. Even though they're pretty beat up too. Actually, they're very beat up. Yeah, we'll be fine with the fishing port. Mm, I don't need it. That's the thing. Hold on, hold on. Okay, fine. Alright, we're gonna end the episode with this battle here. Oh, big army behind. Definitely night battle. Get rid of that uh, extra group. This is copper mine. Yeah, we can do this. It'd be a little rough. Oh, this is actually more than a little rough. Our units aren't very suited for fighting them. They are injured. We can force them to come out. Open field. Save some ammo. So we can starve them out. Now it's likely that they will join the fight as well, but they're not that strong, so not too worried about that group. Just worried about the garrison inside the copper mine, to be honest. So they're fine. Do we have any interesting characters? Let's take a look. Well, everyone could be a spy, so pass. I think oh we have a level up. I think all our army has moved actually. Could be wrong. We'll definitely check. Oh god, so long. 77 characters. Pick a reform. Hmm. I guess we'll just finish Onyx Dragons. So close. Ah, uh, we definitely have a move. Right, we can end Hansui's territory this turn. Let's do that. Alright, now we get more income because we have another horse pasture to decrease the cost of our cavalry. 72, 61. Level up here. We don't need reach because he has reach. So we're gonna get. Oh, he's administrator. Never mind. He has his missions. Alright, this is a nice way to end the episode. Okay, so let's change it to ownership. We have completed the northwest quadrant, the Shu Ba region. Uh, the south, we haven't finished colonizing everything yet, but we probably will do that. Over here, it's a little lazy, not really touching the high empire, but 
there's no resistance left. We have army cleaning up Long Lop. And Zhou Yu ran into a little bit of trouble. We might summon the extra army to help him. But I think if we fight well, we can take them if they uh, come out to take us during the end turn, which I think they will. And then they can clean up both of Liu El's forces here and take his capital, claim our Wu commandery, and then we can set up a naval route. I also have to clean up this. So maybe another army is needed. We can we can definitely afford one. So and we have one extra army slot left. So that shouldn't be a problem. And then over here with Cao Cao's territory, we are putting a stop to his, I guess, uh, <laughs> counterattack, if you call it that. Uh, but we can easily wipe them out. We have two excellent armies here. So Liu Dai's faction is probably going to get the axe next. Tao Ying is somehow over here. There is quite a big concentration of troops. Um, so we might have to play defense around um, Luoyang. But that's okay. Uh, we'll be able to do that. We might not want to expand anymore. We might be happy just to keep the situation as is. Uh, probably want to take this though. Just because there's the nice lake here as boundary. We'll see. We'll figure things out to see if we want to fight any more here. The general idea is if we could get one army even up there, let's say we take this trade port or you know or this fishing port. We take it. We can instantly uh, set up the turn before we take it to recall some of our key armies, and with our redeployment, we just pop them all out, mercenary armies, and just flood his capital the next turn, and we should get the win. So if I play this right. We could um, get our victory within the next one or two episodes. Uh, so we're approaching the end here. We have 108 counties, so we're way over 95. We're just missing this last emperor seat in Yubei Ping, which is modern day Beijing, uh, my hometown. So we're going to try to set, uh, set sail for my hometown uh, in our next episode. And 219 is the year right now. 220 is the official formation of the quote-unquote three kingdoms period uh, even though you know the game starts in 190 but uh, you progress to the point where there's only three kingdoms uh, we're still ahead of schedule i thought this campaign was going to take a long time but looking at the map we are pretty much the dominant player as we control over two-thirds of china so see you guys next time bye